All right, today I have a pair of struts um, that have bumped into a rock. Probably the whole propulsion. I did the shafts as well. These struts are starting to get bigger because some of the bigger marinas uh, are knowing that I can straighten and refurbish bench shafting, bench struts, rudders, and that kind of thing. Today, I finally broke down and I built a larger rock, okay? This is, this is what we call the rock, and I actually have quite a few videos actually showing this in action. So I thought maybe for the very first time uh, using the new bigger rock, um, we will, you know, create a little video here and show how it works or how it's either going to work or not work. And, of course, it's a lot bigger piece of iron. I'm not quite myself because I just had my second shingle shot uh, the other day. And uh, it's it, it really hit me pretty good. But I'm coming out of it. And anyway, uh, we're, we're getting back into action here. And we're going to go ahead and, and get this strut straightened. So, 86 degrees. Plasma cut out the three-quarter plate to make this drilled and tapped the holes and welded it together and now we're in here in front of a fan at our hydraulic press and pretty much going to do the the motions to make this straight this is the shaft going through the same size as the shaft that goes through that I straighten these are two straight edges and what I do is I use those to be the straight line of the shaft and then this bar here tweaks and the strut is this is where it was mounted to the hull so the impact went that way with this being mounted so you've got to mount this to your pushing action to reverse the rock action and that's why we named this the rock uh, so this is rock two we might have to we might have to do that right oh where's my fat sharpie <laughs> okay uh let's uh let's see how she does i need a pair of gloves okay all you need is a big jig like this and a big set of huevos and you're ready to go I made this a little wider than the other one too so that I can move it this way and that way. You see this strut actually goes off that way quite a bit. But uh, and uh, that's what I had to do with the other one. I had to grind some of this off at the top sometimes. Okay, once you, you know, you can see this reduced right here now. This is uh, probably a quarter inch in there now. So we've cut that out in half. We got part of the bow out. And now I'm going to start getting a square. And I take a square off of this face here and I start lining this web in the center of it. And this starts roughing it down. I have a lot of other techniques that lets me tweak it on out. But this is the basic motion and the basic shape or putting it back into shape is uh, done like this.
right, I'm gonna go get my squares and straight edges and check out what I got. Okay, I went ahead and lifted this up, pulled this out, went over the lathe, and I turned the blue in so that I have a little tit right here in the middle. And I have a little tit on this end here. Sometimes I just use this bar and I turn it around, but I went ahead and put it on the e each side so that I have the same thing. That marks center of that shaft line, okay? Because you always go, hey, how do you know, <laughs> how do you know you're putting it back in center or whatever? Um, so basically when struts are made, the palm is either square or perpendicular or it's set off at a certain angle and those angles are known by design in each strut. All right, so this happens to be a straight strut. So basically I'm eyeballing this with the center of this section right here, right near the palm, okay? That's center of the palm and it's coming up. Now I, I glance with that square against that face there, I'm glancing over here and I'm about 3 16 of an inch still high. So that means this palm still has to go down. And, um, I, and also, this is, this is lower than this here, so it's gotta take a little bit more than that. Right here, if you look at that side right there, that's, that scar, let me see. Oh, you can see it, okay. That's, that scar, that scar, that scar, that scar right there, that, that was the impact. And it went that way. So now we're pushing, we're pushing the hull this way, bringing it back. So we're hitting it this side with the rock. I'm just gonna leave my square on here so you can see how much flex and everything else happens. Okay, I'm located in the center. That's uh, about 3 16 of an inch of high right there. Okay, I almost made that travel an inch out there. Okay, that's almost that's almost dead nuts at the line right now. That looks pretty good. All right. After that, then we start looking like this across here, and we'll compare it to the other side. So now we'll lift our ram out of the way and we're gonna set it upright and get a good look at it that way. Once we think it might be pretty close, then we'll take it off of the jig and then we set it down and we bend it um, all by itself. Meaning on itself. <laughs> Don't need to lift that with this. <laughs> All right, so we're 99% of the way there. Okay, we can see a lot of rock here and we see a hollow there. So we wanna go ahead and we wanna press on the middle of this and kind of take that bend out of it. Uh, once we know that we're back pretty straight in the center there, then we're gonna take a look at it. And then I'll show you how we actually gauge the finished center line with the strut palm all right i got my uh four inch parallels in here it's just as long as your palm is not hitting the bottom there for right now sometimes i do let the palm sit there and i'm pressing it depends on what i'm doing but right now i'm just trying to hit the area between here and there because this is where i'm getting i'm getting the rock here And that, I'm trying to get this back that way, and now it'll pick up the difference of that eighth of an inch that we're looking for. All right, and this is my square block. Well, it was a square block um, back a couple years.
when you hold an edge on the bottom side you can you can watch the motion underneath there and it'll be doing the opposite of what you want it to do you watch the spring back Still got a lot in there. Okay, I think I saw some mo motion there. A little. Starting to hit a little bit of that right there. All right. I'm going to stand up and take a measurement on it. I had to get my square. All right, I set these two up right alongside the the palm itself so everything measured one way is going to be or should be if it's true running down the center it's going to be in the same spot in relationship to side to side so i use my tall square and i'm going to use i think uh, yeah it's just going to be easier um because i got plenty of room here i put the bottom edge of the square on top of this and then I bring the outside edge and I just kind of put my finger there and I know that I'm gonna be um, even with the edge and then I take and I measure from here over to there okay it's just a, probably a 30 second under of six inches there and then we put this over here at that edge and we're about We're about a sixteenth of an inch that way. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing at that end there. Of course, I'm gonna have to move my roll away over there so that I can get around and look at it. But we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna come back and forth or, or adjust where we're gonna press on it to get it to move that extra amount. I wanna see where this side's at, and then see where that side is at, and then I'll know whether it's this way or that way, all right? That we don't have to worry about this way because this strut's not going to bend this way. It's, it, it's, it was forgiving to the side and a little bit of a twist, but it will never, it'll never vary this way here. Not with the amount of resetting this palm to the boat can always be adjusted to get it if that's ever a, a case there. But for the most part, this web strength in the longitudinal way is never going to bend. Okay, that's like five and three quarters. And this is lacking a quarter inch or so. So both, both sides have got to go that way. That's got to go an eighth of an inch that way. This has got to go a quarter inch this way. Okay, I've got it laying down where I'm, I'm using just the palm. And then I have my two three inch spaces. It kind of holds this level. It, it really makes it convenient to work on it that way. Um, you can see um, that there is a quarter inch play right there. It's rocking th that level of the palm and this right here kind of shows the same thing that we're showing with it upright. So if we're gonna use and we're gonna press over here, we're gonna be bending in over there. And, th and this, this is a shorter distance right here and it's going to want to bend on the rear side of it. So we're going to try to focus towards the rear of the strut uh, blade back there and, and kind of tweak it, tweak it in there so that we're taking some of that twist out and actually you kind, of, you kind of hold this across here like this and then when you get over to the back side you can actually see it's high. So there might be a, a light bend in right over here and this is kind of like tweaking it out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to actually kind of like hit that area right in there scoot it over here when I built and designed my press this is the kind of surface that I wanted to have sometimes you just don't have enough of that surface on some of these little um, wannabe presses all right we always want to make sure that we're 
we're not going to have part of our parallel underneath here as well so all right i get to look at it here see it i've got pressure there and that's is showing that we got play here i'm now i'm tight so it's probably going to take a little bit and a spring We still have a rock. A little less. I'm gonna take a measurement. If we got rid of some of this quarter inch on this side here, we'll be, we'll be fat city here. Um, okay, we're we're like at five and fifteen sixteenths. five and an eighth we took half of that out of there okay we still got to go that way but we got to go that way on on that end there so it's uh it, it's a little bit of a twist here okay i did i laid it on the palm and and uh did a little pressing back and forth the same way in out in out and i finally got it where i'm 100 percent happy i'm almost dead nuts on the back side there or on the forward that's the forward side this is the aft side of the strut there and I take it and I check each side here. I'm within a 32nd of an inch. The rest of setting this strut up in the, on the boat is up to the installer and they can manipulate it a little bit from that point. But this is as straight as original as, as someone can straighten it back. All right, with my talent, rock two, we got her done. Get her done.